guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators. It's Michelle and Jason, and today we are doing a hike to the Green Sand Beach here on the beautiful Big Island of Hawaii. To get to the Green Sand Beach, you take the Ring Road, Highway 11, down to South Point Road. It's really easy to find, and it's about an hour from both the Hilo side and the Kona side. There's not a ton of places to stay, even though we did previously stay in a Airbnb in this area, but plan about an hour to get down there from either Kona or Hilo. When you arrive at the Green Sand Beach, there is a parking lot. Uh, the, the Green Sand Beach is on private land, and so this does belong to people, and so there are options of people who live locally down there who will offer to drive you out there. So you can have someone take you, or you can hike it. If you want to have it driven, it's a little bit of a negotiation process, but it's around $10 per person each way, give or take. $10. <laughs> so just know that that is an option if you don't want to hike this, but it is also a very a bumpy option. So when you are in the vehicle, you're probably in a truck bouncing around quite a bit. So we want to be very clear about this. This is a hike to the Green Sand Beach. It's not like, hey, we're going to the beach and we have to stroll a little ways to get there. It is a hike. It takes you about an hour at a good clip just to get there. And again, this is really dusty, open, no shade, very hot. It's a walk. There's not a lot of elevation change to get there, but uh, there's a lot of you know dirt and sand, and it's kind of a, a unique looking uh, orange dirt that you're going to be hiking through. And there's lots of uh, tire tracks that, and all these vehicles have gone out there, but it's not even. It's not paved. Uh, we definitely recommend at least some kind of a good shoe can wear sandals, but I really would not recommend that. I wore hiking boots and was glad that I had hiking boots. Definitely some kind of a tennis shoe and then maybe bring a sandal in your bag. Again, we said there's no shade, so make sure that you've put on all of your sun protection before you start this hike out there. Don't wait till you get to the beach or else you will fry. So wear hats, wear your sunscreen, long sleeve shirts, anything that's gonna protect you from the sun because uh, it's very open. So when you get there, you can see where there's a little cove cut out and this is where the green sand beach is. So as you're making your way to the green sand beach, you have to actually go down in order to get to it. And from a distance, you can see that it is green. And think of like olive green, not like bright, like Kelly green, but, but olive green. And Kelly green? Yeah, it's called Kelly green. green once you get there you have to walk down this little path and because so many people have been it's really beneficial that they actually have kind of a little um, area cut out for you to walk down uh, one place has some stairs if you don't have great knees it's not gonna be as easy for you it's not designed for safety purposes or anything like that but you can weave your way down to the actual beach and the beach itself is not huge but it's, it's wide enough that you can spread out a little bit. And because of Pinterest and a few other, you know, social media things, there have been a lot more people and tourists who will go to this beach. When I first started researching this beach, it was like eight years ago. Of course, we didn't make it until this year, but whatever. Now it's a tourist attraction. It's cool. It is a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. We've been to some pink sand beaches. We've been to some red sand beaches. And this one, I thought, lived up to what it was advertised to be. The waves that come crashing in are not little. So this is not like a lounging beach as far as like in the water. Um, it's more of like a wave pool beach where you can definitely go in but be careful. Um, high tides and windy days are going to have a lot rougher surf. So you may or may not be able to get in the water. Up to you. There's no lifeguard. Be safe out there. Also when you're there Take the extra little hike up around the cliff and take a look out over the land. It is a gorgeous view and a really nice view of, of the Green Sand Beach as well. Um, it's worth the few extra steps to, to go up there um, and a really nice photo op too. So depending on the number of people who are out there with vehicles, you might be able to get a one-way trip back. Uh, that again just kind of depends on who's out there and how long they're planning on staying. 
This is a really beautiful hike as you make your way back. Uh, and you can see the coast and the water the whole time, the shores of the island, um, and it does vary quite a bit from rocks to a couple little beaches. You've also got some cliffs, and it, it's a really pretty walk as you go. And so again, it's gonna take you about an hour to get back as well. So we completed this trek in about three hours. We spent an hour walking in, an hour hanging around, and then an hour walking back out. And you're definitely gonna be gassed by the end. It's plenty hot again. You're just the, the sun alone. And remember, you're closer to the equator, so it really does beat down on you. We cannot convey enough that it's dusty. So dust in your eyes, dust all over your person. Um, it is very dusty. It is going to ruin your shoes if, unless you wash them. So bring the water. Make sure you have your sun protection. If you want to, to take the ride in, definitely do that. It's, it's a cool thing to see. And like Michelle said, this is actually a green beach uh, compared to some other colored beaches that you might uh, have heard about. And it's a really, really pretty hike. Um, there's not a lot of elevation change, so you can do it even if you're kind of a novice hiker as well. We do really recommend this Green Sand Beach. It's really pretty, well worth the effort to go down there, but make sure you come prepared and uh, come ready for a hike, not just a time at the beach. We'll see you next time. That's not really true. It is what it said. And it's not a hard way to There's brightly colored on a bright, uh, this is a <laughs> of the island. That's the word. So we definitely recommend, definitely. <laughs>